This is a demonstration on how to enter data into an SPSS file. Once you open up the SPSS, you'll notice in the bottom left a data view tab and a variable view tab. We start by selecting the variable view tab. We're going to create the variable names. The first variable will be sex and the second variable will be age. We will assign labels to each of the variables so in the output the labels will be shown rather than the variable names. For the variable sex we will use the label sex of student. For the variable age we will use the label age of student. It's common for a nominal variable, such as sex, to use numerical, numerical coding to represent each category. When using numerical coding, value labels are important so we know which number is assigned to which category. So we right click the box underneath the values column, and let's assign one for female and two to male. This is accomplished by typing into the, the numerical value and then the value label followed by selecting add. If we're satisfied with it, we select OK. Now we're ready to enter the data, so we go to data view. Suppose the first student is female and 26 years old. So we enter 1 for female and 26 for age. The next student is a male and is 32 years old. The third student is also a male and is 24 years old. Let's do one more. Say a female who is 27 years old. Now we, we've entered the data into the data file. Notice the numbers are shown to two decimal places. We don't need to see the decimals, so in the variable view we can change the number of decimal places shown. Under the decimal column, we right click it and we'll change it to zero. So now zero decimal places will be shown. Now when we go back to the data view tab, we notice the decimals are no longer displayed. Recall sex was assigned one for female and two for male. We like to see the value labels. And we accomplish this by selecting the value labels icon. And now we can see the labels. The first student is a female. If we're happy with the data file, then we can save it. To save, go to File, Save As, and put it in the folder you'd like to save it, and give it a name for the data file. There, we're done. This completes the demonstration of how to enter data into an SPSS file.